this is something a child with cerebral palsy can never fully enjoy. It's a condition marked by impaired muscle coordination caused by damage to the brain before or at birth. It affects body movement, muscle control and coordination. These mothers know all too well the difficulties and expenses associated with the condition. That and the misconceptions. People often think those with cerebral palsy are also mentally disabled. They don't understand what's going on with the child. Like sometimes it's hard to fit in in their society. Other people think maybe you are you a sinner. That's why you have a receive or you are a witch or whatever. You know, people think otherwise. You did something wrong. You did something wrong for you to deserve to have such a child. The mothers agree that the public is misinformed. That the mothers were negligent. That as a mother you tried to abort the baby, or you were bewitched, or you were negligent with the child. It's somewhere down those lines, in which most of the cases, it's hospital negligence. They formed a support network called Proudly Cerebral Palsy, highlighting areas in which they need to support their children. We went out to eat, and we went from restaurant to restaurant. 90% of the places could not accommodate our children. When I get in the taxi, they will rush me always. Mm. Like, you have to hurry up. We don't, we're not going to wait for one person. Time is moving, time is money. Schooling is also a problem. There's just not enough schools. It's, it, it just also raises back that question to say that if our constitution is saying that every child has a basic right to education, which children did they mean? Were they excluding our children with disabilities? The moms say they won't stop raising awareness until the stigma around cerebral palsy is eradicated. Lorenzo Temba, Pretoria.